complete disassembly of a Remington 700 is an easy job if you've got the right tools. Watch along as I detail strip this rifle. The first order of business is always to be sure the gun's unloaded. With the bolt open, I press the bolt release located just in front of the trigger, which allows the bolt to be removed. The underlug on the cocking piece is secured in a vise so that I can pull the bolt body forward, exposing a groove in the cocking piece into which I place a dime to hold it in place. Turning the bolt body counterclockwise separates the body from the striker assembly. I use a mink bolt disassembly tool which exposes the cocking piece retaining pin so I can drive it out. Now I can release the pressure on the spring, pull it out, and unscrew the bolt shroud. Here's what we end up with. The bolt body, firing pin spring, firing pin, cocking piece, cocking piece retaining pin, bolt shroud, and the disassembly tool. To separate the barreled action from the stock, I'll remove the action screws using a properly fitted screwdriver. After removing the trigger guard, I lift the barreled action out of the stock. The magazine spring and follower are removed at this time. The magazine box is secured to the action by this screw. The trigger is held in place by these two pins. The rear pin also serves to secure and pivot the bolt stop and spring. I drift out the pin from the pointed end and pull back the punch far enough to remove the bolt stop spring and bolt stop. I'm careful not to lose the sear spring when removing the punch. Now the front pin is drifted out and the trigger assembly is removed from the action, catching the sear as it falls free. This leaves us with the barreled action, magazine spring and follower, magazine box, trigger assembly, and bolt stop and spring. To remove the barrel from the action, a barrel vise and action wrench is needed. These are made by Wheeler Engineering. I start by securing the top half of the action wrench to the receiver using a quarter 28 machine screw in the front action screw hole. Oak bushings, along with some Baker powdered rosin, are then placed around the barrel and clamped in the vise. To prevent the barrel from rotating, I want the vise as tight as possible. A piece of brass shim stock helps protect the receiver. Now I can install the action wrench and snug up the screws. With a bit of force and the help of a cheater bar, the action is turned off the receiver. That's all there is to it.